Hello and welcome. Today we will recreate Dolores SS's transformation dress from the third season of Westworld. I'm excited and no worries, no spoilers. For this project you will need black jersey fabric, a golden metallic jersey, a wide elastic band, some snaps, a sewing machine or your hands, some pins, dead tree sheets for your pattern, a measuring tape, pencil or chalk, a ruler, and that's it. This is not my first transformation dress, but it's definitely a different type of dress that I'm used to do, so it will be fun. First, let's start with a basic body sloper to manipulate. We need to pull the ends of the three top darts and make them meet the end of the waist dart. By subtracting the three darts on the top and adding them to the waist dart, we will create a beautiful flare and adding another one and a half inch to the side will give you more space to hide that extra fabric that you will make pass as a very cheap and botched boob job. I know I will. Then lower the neckline and make the shoulders narrower. Here I removed one and a half inches on each side. Check all of your curves and cut it out. For the back, you just need to shave the shoulder dart, lower the neckline, narrow the shoulders so they match the front, add a few inches to the side on the waistline so you have a flare, cut it out, proof all of the seams with the front part to see if they match and voila! Time to cut the fabric. Oh wait, I almost forgot about the skirt. I used this sloper but to simplify you can simply sew a tube of fabric. Measuring the same as the widest part of your hip by the length that you need. Wear it inside out in front of a mirror. Pin all the extra on the sides for a snack fit. Even with all of the calculations and patterns, this is what I end up doing in the end because it saves time and works perfectly for jersey skirts. Now let me present to you our victims of the day. For the outside dress, I chose the cheapest black jersey I could find. And when I say cheap, I mean my fingers turned a weird shade of blue while handling it cheap. The original seems to be more high-end, but I was not able to recognize exactly what they used. Also seems to be a jersey though. For the inside, brace yourselves for this amazing golden metallic jersey that feels as disturbing as it sounds. It feels wet, static and also very cheap. It doesn't wrinkle and it has a nice flow. The original has a black background and that was unfortunately sewed out so I got stuck with this beautiful 70s golden shade. Turn on the disco ball, here I come. So I started with the outer black dress. Lay the patterns on the fabric, cutting two bodice fronts and two backs on the fold. One of them will serve as a lining for a beautiful finish. Cut one front and back skirt, also on the fold, minding the necessary seam allowances for all of the pieces. Sew the two front bodices together all around, right sides facing, but leave the bottom side open so you can flip it right side out. I'm using the serger here, but the normal machine with a stretching stitch will also work. Make the same for the back. Sew the skirt, right sides facing, and now let's move to the table and cut the golden fabric. Fabric. The selvage was wider on one side and this was getting on my nerves, so first I got rid of that. For the skirt, I decided to cut two pieces with the width of the fabric by the length that I needed. Then I removed 6 cm on the waist to create a small A-line shape, which in the end didn't make much of a difference. For the upper part, I cut one piece measuring 39 inches, I folded in four and cut separate pieces on the length. For the bell thingy, I cut this weird not triangle triangle both in the black and golden fabric. I first sew those pieces together only to realize that those fabrics were gathering way too much and it was looking more like a sick alien worm. I'm fast as Squidward! <laughs> this is so weird. It's not good. It's not good. I started then assembling the dress and I was way too far ahead in the game and I realized that it all looked like crap so it's actually pretty good that this part of the footage didn't turn out good because... <laughs> I just took everything apart again. Sushi. The sandwich just didn't feel right, so I will start from scratch. <sighs> First, I removed the bulk of the skirt by laying the skirt pattern 3.5 inches away from the fold and then creating a more prominent A-line from that. If you didn't create a pattern and just sewed your skirt through the tube method, take your skirt, fold it in half and do the same thing. The result will be the same. I also decided to reduce a little bit the top part of the dress by cutting a V-shape starting 3 inches down from the middle. Then, assemble your black outer dress by first gathering the bottom part of the bodice front and back and attaching them to the skirt right sides facing. So what we need to do now is mark 7 inches from the middle, 3.5 inches from each side, because this will be ruffled, so this will fit in our beautiful waistline. Mm. Yellow on yellow doesn't generally go well, no? We will make it work. I'm doing this because the original skirt is not ruffled all the way around and this will remove a lot of fabric, making it easier to hide it on the top part of the black dress. 
we will do the same thing in the back. Ah! If I hadn't made both at the same time. La la la. This is ridiculous. So I marked the 7 inches again with a running stitch in the front and in the back separately and I made a running stitch on both sides of the front part as well so I could ruffle that too. So this is where things get tricky. I have the base dress done, I have to mount the golden dress around it. But first I have to mount the golden dress on itself. <laughs> First of all, make sure that both waistlines are the same size on both the black and yellow dress. I ruffled first the front and back parts and to adjust the rest, I decided to ruffle a little bit on the sides as well. Then add the upper part of the golden dress to the front of the golden skirt, right sides facing from the center front to the side seam, and with that V-shape that we cut off, serving as the neckline. Then it was time to test my sandwich making capabilities, because you know, I'm a woman, and that's the only thing I'm good for. <laughs> I meant the dress, you psychopath! So this is the part that will flip over and give me a beautiful finish. This is the dress and beautiful. And this is the flap that will hold everything. And this is the dress. Ha! Bitch! It's right now! So this is what we need to do. We sew both dresses normally and then we just sew one inside of the other and that's it that's the secret you sneaky sneaky designers sneaky designers let's do this so the golden dress inside of the black dress both right side out joining them by the waist with their upper parts dangling down for an extra hold i sewed a wide elastic band to the waist it's a dress inside a dress and it's golden very 70s golden i attached the snaps on the black dress two on each shoulder and one on the armpit and i painted them black with a sharpie so that they are not so apparent now all that's left to do is to attach the belt thingy i attach those to the end of the bunny ears so i can crisscross them in the back and tie them in the front the original dress also had something in the décolleté to make it a little bit more classy and since I didn't have anything in my skin tone, I just used the very same golden fabric inside out just to hold the boobage in place. I sew that by hand so it's not showing from the outside and that's it, we're done! Now let's twist those bunny ears! To give this dress the same look as the original, I twisted the bunny ears four times outwards. Cross once in the back and tie a knot in the front. Ta-da! It's time for the reveal. <laughs> Remember when I told you that this golden fabric was very, very static? Well, it is. More than I imagined. And that prevented me from having a very nice reveal. I tried it several times. This prevented the fabric from flowing down nicely because it was getting stuck to my body and to the black fabric as well. Due to all of that electricity, it was building up. So I can call this a nightmare project. This fabric is a nightmare to sew, to pin and to deal with and I do not recommend you use it unless you are doing some sort of costume or, or some 70 related drapes in your house. Steer away from this, please. And this is why I refrain from buying fabrics I don't know online. But now you know how to sew this, you just need to find a better fabric that will not wrinkle while stuffed in your boob area. Other than that, feel free to experiment. In the original black dress there was a golden detail that I didn't add, that's because I was lazy and didn't feel like it. Considering this shit show that went on with this golden fabric, I will call this now a strategic decision. You might need to get some help to set up the dress, but I can confirm that it is definitely easier to do it alone than my bell dress was, especially in crowded areas. As for the form and fit, I am all for showing the bacon and loving yourself as it is, but I have huge boobs and this shape, color and the reflective fabric only made me feel bigger than I am, so that is not for the faint of heart or the insecure ones. Other than that, I only have to say, release the bacon, be free and be happy, do what you want. I hope you enjoyed this nightmare of a dress. If you like sewing shenanigans and crazy fashion projects, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Time to move in the gate. <laughs> <laughs>